Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple fried rice inventory management system using Java. Now I already opened the NetBeans ID. Going to go to the file, new project. Yes, select Java, Java application. Next, if it is check create main class, we have to uncheck it. Here I am going to create the project name as fried rice shop. Fried rice shop. right click finish right now your project has been created five traces uh, shop here your project folder consists of two major folders uh, source package and libraries now here first what i'm going to do is here go to the source packages here there will be the default packages there i'm going to create the new package right click new java package i'm going to create as uh, five traces Now new package has been created successfully with the name of fried rice. Now select the package, right click new, uh, J frame form. Here I am going to create the create the new form as fried rice. Fried rice. Right. Last name I am going to write fried rice. Finish. Right. Now your new form has been created successfully. Now here first what I am going to do is here I am going to increase the frame size little bit. Look like this. Now here, first I am going to design the label uh, heading. So go to the palette and drag one label here. Right click, edit text. Here you have right here as uh, you have right as fried rice shop. Right here they are, these are the categories available. So you have right fried rice shop open. You have right edit text. You have to control with this one. Right. You have to write it here. Right. Fried rice shop. You have right fried rice shop. shop. Right. Select this one, properties, font, bold, 36, click OK, right, perfect, you have to place it here, it look nice. Now uh, here, when the project is run, it run at the center, you have set, so select the frame, right click, here we have to properties, code, generate center you have to enable the option code generate center now here if you click ok here when the form is run you can uh, see it is running at the center here it is running at the center perfectly right now let us close it now what I am going to do is here I am going to drag one panel here right select this one properties border this one you have to soft bevel border click ok Close it. Right. perfect now here what I am going to do is here simply we have to design the form, right so we are first designing as here as we have designed Simple. after that I am going to drag the uh, check boxes so go to the palette and drag the check boxes right so here we need five check boxes so we have to drag right so first i have drag one so control c to copy can we paste get the copy again control c to copy can we paste get the another copy control c to copy can we get another one you already get the copy like this right very simple right after that what i'm going to do is here we have to select this one select all or on the control key down on select all the check boxes right click properties uh, we have to go to the font property you have to make it as with bold 12 click ok right ok perfect now what i am going to do is here this one i am going to change the name as this thing right i am going to change here, this one thai fight rest control c copy edit text control with this thai fight rest second one should be we have to change it as this one. Just control C, copy this one. Uh, edit text. Edit text. Okay. You have to write it here because uh, there will be the time. Uh, if I type this one, it take too much of time to complete this video. So that I have uh, written earlier. So that I control C, to copy and paste it here. Right. Edit text. This one also select edit text. You have to edit the text as. This one. 
find this one the text close it copy right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here i need the uh, text box right so here you have to we need a text box we need a text box so select the text box control c to copy control v to paste below second one you have to third one control c to copy control v to paste here this third one you have to fix it here how does control c to copy control v to get the another copy you have to paste it here how does control c to copy control v to paste here another copy right Perfect. After that, what I'm going to do is here. I need uh, this tool. You got tool. We have to paste it here. This one, control C, copy, control V to paste another quantity. Get another one, control C, copy, control V to paste here. After that, control C, copy, control V to paste here. Another, get it another one. After that, control C, copy, control V to paste another one. Right. Right. Perfect. Right. Now what I am going to do is here, right, right, okay, now what I am going to do is, I am going to do the thing is, we have to, change the, right, now we have to increase the size of the form little bit, now I need, need to have a table, so go to the uh, table, right? J table. Go to the palette and drag one J table here. Right. Now your first one select the J table here. We have to the table contain we have change default row. We have to delete them. Columns. First one should be the here as first one should be here, right? Uh, here fried rice type, right? Fried, fried rice type first column second one should be price quantity after that total need to be displayed right that's it Perfect. after that we have to display the size of the table this look nice okay so Now here what I am going to do is see after that uh, we need a uh, thing is we need to add two buttons so we have to put one panel here this one also this panel I am going to change the border style as simply this one right. we need to drag two buttons uh, two buttons one is add another one is a print invoice so this one should be the add button get another copy sorry we are getting another button here paint invoice right. after that what i'm going to do is here we have to add the uh, three labels here one so first here, this one. We have to put one panel and write it. It's very simple. So we have to put one panel here. Right. We have to write here. Right. Here we have to write the panel. Right. Now here, select here. This one we have to put one panel. Now here we have to drag the label. This one should be total subtotal. Control it, copy, control it, paste here. And another one here is payment. This one should be payment. After that. Balance. Right. 
okay what i'm going to do see i drag the uh, text fields I have drag the text fields here this one after that get uh, another copy control sheet copy control read paste here control sheet copy control read paste here that's right we later on we have to change the names and everything right everything we have to done successfully here this is, this is the subtotal payment balance to be displayed here right simple right very simple design we have to be, be made Now let's check, select the frame properties. We have to check. We have to make it as a generate center. This option. If you are not uh, check it, we have to check it. This option. Then only it's uh, the when the program is loaded, it generate at the center. Now it's successfully loaded at the center. Right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is go here. Uh, if you want to make the changes, you have to change like this because uh, there are too much spaces. So we have reduced the spaces, so it, it should be nice look. Right. Perfect. Right here. Now it's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, now here as a sim simple problem. The problem is here, this one. The this one you have to uh, right, right. That's a problem. Right. Now it's okay. Right. Now it's working fine. Right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is here. I am going to do the validation part. So, uh, first this one we have to uh, name it, change the name, change the variable. First this one txt thai file. So, tf rice. tf rice means uh, t this one f rice, right? Simply we have to name it as this one. Tx, uh, this is not a txt, we have to change this one as a this checkbox. So, chka t T rise, simple rise, T rise. This one we have simply we have to change it as CHK, this is a checkbox, B rise, B rise. This one we have to change it as CHK, P rise. This one CHK, C rise. So here we have to change that as uh, C H J C O rice. Your price because we have this uh, two of uh, C. They will be the same name, so we have to C O. We have to put it right. Perfect. Now here we have to change the name. Okay. Edit text backspace remove the extension text. Select again. Change variable. We have to uh, this one should be the text box uh, T X T T rice. Right. This one also quantity. So we, this also we have to change it as snipper tool so your snipper is uh, t rice t rice t rice yes, t rice this one should be is uh, b rice okay. this one also you have to select this one edit text backslash remove it t x t b rice this one select add is backslash remove the existing set select again change variable txt p rise this one one should be uh, s p rise this one should be uh, we have to rename it as uh, txt c rise select again add it backslash remove the existing set select again this one s c rise this select this one, edit text, backspace, remove the extension, select again, txt, c or rice, this one should be, yes, c or rice, right, okay, now what I am going to do is here, this one also we have changed the name, backspace, remove, select again, txt, sub, click ok, this one select again, again, edit text, backspace, remove again, Select again, change variable, txt pay. Now I select this one. Very sex uh, backspace to remove it and change variable. We have write txt balance. Right. 
done it successfully after that what i'm going to do is here we have to select the add button event action action perform now here first what i'm going to do is here we have to write here is default default table model you have to write model equal new the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one right select here you have to write default table model what is the spelling wrong right here default t right, that's the problem right, you have to add the namespace right now here what i'm going to do this is the table uh, this is the button event now here what i'm going to see you right here is simply when you click this button what happened right? if you uh, check the tie five drives and how many uh, this is the price of you have to uh, write the price here and how many want you have to select the quantity here click add button the uh, selected item should be added into the table here right so how to do the task is first you have to uh, write the int sum equal zero after that you have to write if simply you have to write if first one first uh, one should be we have select the item as this one is it chk this one chk t rise so can also copy this one you have to check it. dot is selected the other property is selected is selected of checkbox in java you have to if it, if it is uh, select checked it selected but what you have to do is you have to write here is simply string you have to write uh, you have to write this one is a tie tie price tie price you have to write simply tie because this is a variable i will tie because this tie if i write right. equal you have to write tx uh, we have to write this one cut off it copy and i'll reach first here get text right. what is the text it is assign it is variable after the part i am going to do is here uh, we have to write another thing is here we have to create the uh, this one uh, after that we have to get into the this second one text box this one should be the text box this one should be the uh, this one what is uh, snippet or uh, quantity right so we have to align this one this one is as well so second one should be the uh, txt this one should be is int we have to write is int int uh, this one should be price equal integer dot passing here you have right we need to have a calculation part txt t rise so the same variable you have to paste it here dot get text right get text perfect the same thing you have to control it copy control it paste below this one should be the quantity quantity also what is the things T, uh, this one should be s t rise so it's getting error so here we have to get it here is this one should be the snippet tool but you have to get get value dot to string this one will get the value right after that what i'm going to do is here this should be this both are calculated and stored the variable uh, this right so what I'm going to see, I'm going to do the calculation process. So I'm going to create the variable in dot equal uh, price multiply by quantity. Right. So total it should be calculated and assigned to the variable top. Right. After that, what I'm going to see, we have to write the model. Right. So we have to write the model. Right. We have to already we created the object above model object. We have to get it the model object here. You have to write here model equal the same thing default table model control c to copy control v to paste here you have to write j table 1 dot get model get model right okay now here what i am going to do is here you have to write model dot add row here you have to write here new object new object right. here you have right new object here you have right simply right. 
here you are simply right first one this type this uh, variable here control c copy control v to paste here first column is added into the uh, type second one price control c copy control v to paste here what is the price here if you enter the price on this text box and the variable here quantity is assigned the variable here third one should be the quantity final one should be the dot that's it it works look like this right now let's check whether it's working fine or not on this check hundred click add button here it's added successful it's working successful it's working successful right simple right same thing here do the another thing as well right okay this is the thing right? if we started here if we started here close it here we have to get another if control c to copy control v to paste here don't put else if okay if okay because else if me only one condition should be work if if if, if it is check this work if it is check this work right if else right if if me all the things you select that index will be stored in this table right so you have to put another if here so you have to write here is we have to simply change the name this one should be chk b rights control c to copy that paste second one be carefully do it control v to paste here simple this one also you have to paste it here this one should be what's the name b a b a s a right okay so price price mean what's the text box here we have to price text box you have to control c to copy this one you have to paste it here txt sorry in the text box name this one control c to copy control v to paste here after that this one quantity also control c to copy control v to paste here right that's it other stuff are same now here we'll change the things control c to copy control v to paste here this price quantity total also same. perfect okay we have to do the stuff the same the remaining stuff also we have to do it get the copy paste it here One should be CHK P rice. CHK P rice. This is a counter seed copy, cannot be placed here. This one should be price TSTP rice. This one also P rice. Right. All the stuff are same. Here also you have the same. Pine, pineapple so p a pine right pine control c copy control v to paste here this one other stuff are uh, same what same the same thing you have to get the copy another copy control c copy control v to paste here this one should be here right right here chk c rice control c copy paste here c rice c rice here also this one After that, this one, see that, control C to copy, control V paste here, right, perfect. Now here this one should be, see rise, control C to copy, control V to paste here, right, the same thing you have to get the copy, control C to copy, control V to paste here, right, this one, control C to copy, this one get the copy, right, so here C O C O M B C O M B paste here this one should be control C to copy control V to paste here third one should be this one control C to copy control V to paste here perfect all the stuff are correct right now let's check that is working fine or not. Second, hundred. This one I am going to check another it's two point. Click add one. Here it's working perfectly. Right. It's working well. Right. 
Now what I am trying to do is here we have to calculate the subtotal amount. So how to calculate this very easy stuff to do it. Uh, the same thing go to the this button double click that go here. We already create the variable shaft right. Now here what I am going to do is here go to the uh, below after all the condition here below I am going to create here. You have to create the loop first loop. You have to create the loop. For I'm going to create the for loop. For loop first one should be the uh, initial value. Initial value is starting starting value zero. After the condition i less than j table j table one. J table one means what is the length of the table? How many data available? We have calculated. Get get row count. We have to calculate the row i plus plus right we have to it's a length calculation of the j table right it's row count right after that simply you have to write we already create the variable above sum equal sum plus you have to write sum plus integer dot pass int here we have to write j table j table one control c to copy control v to paste here dot get value at i which column you need to calculate i am going to calculate of this column so if it is j table its starting position should be zero so zero one two three third position of the total column we have to calculate at in order to calculate the subtotal you have to calculate this is a total column so this one should be three zero one two third position so you have to write the third position here right that's it third position here okay so here dot two string you have to convert as a two string right that's it that's it now we are calling it as a txt dot dot set x so here sub txt sub dot set x set text here we have right integer uh, in t in integer dot integer dot two string integer dot two string here right here is sum sum right here right now let's execute the program and check now here tie you have right 100 you have right here right here right right here right now here right here it should be calculated here this two row is it's, it should be 200 200 plus 200 plus 200 calculate and 400 right now if you pay the amount here it should be calculated balance right so when you click the print or invoice, uh, invoice this all the uh, things should be calculated and display the release the print receipt value. so how to do the task so let's back to our things now here first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to create the database so uh, i have installed the uh, exam uh, exam server in my machine successfully if you are not installed exam server you have to install the xam server in your machine right okay after install the xam server you have to uh, create the database go for go to uh, php my admin right now here you have to create the database here, right here i'm going to create the database as fried rice cup right here right fried rice cup fried this is our database right create right. now your database has been created successfully five rice shop name now your first table i am going to create as first table i am going to create as sales table it consists of four uh, columns first one should be the id int primary with auto increment second one should be the subtotal third one should be the pay out of the balance right. click save right. after that i am going to create the another table uh, this one sales product table right you have to write sales product 
this one six rows right the first one i'm going to create a id sales product id and on sales id this one for uh, rice type after that quantity so you have to write price quantity price quantity after that total right it saves successfully right now what i am going to do is here uh, uh, back to my project uh, first i am going to connect uh, my sql server and netbeans so we have to download the relevant driver so go to the google we have to type my sql connector for java right if you type this one you have to have a many links here click on this first link here come down here uh, mysql connector java this is a zip file where you are going to download so click download button on the right side if you click it goes to the different uh, side for download here right it goes here so you no need to log in or sign up you just click on this link no thanks just start my download if you click that click on this link your download has been started below uh right it started i no need to download again this one i have already downloaded so i have cancel it you have to download this one right after download it it's the file become a zip file you have to extract extract them then it become a normal folder after you have downloaded you can see here it is the folder look like this right okay. here this look like after download you can get the file look like this here i am going to this one to my sql connector okay. this look like this okay so after that you have to extract it you have to look like this these two bin files we have to uh, these two jar files we have to include in my libraries then only we will be able to connect the my sql connector right so where is my project this is my project file drive shop go to the libraries folder inside the library folder this is select the library folder right click add jar folder here you have to go to the mysql connector so you have to go to the uh, mysql connector it is reside on my e drive so you have to find this one the mysql to order on the control key down on and you have to import this then right right now you have to check whether it's important the library success or not here it will be important successfully right here it's important successfully now you will be able to write the code so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to the source simply go to the source first what i'm going to do is here simply i'm going to write the code for that so first i'm going to uh, write it here I'm going to now i am going to right this is my button code so here i am going to create a separate function public void sales right this is a separate function i am going to create right okay after done the sales if you click the pin voice button this is goes to this function this function right so the first part i am going to do is here first i am going to create before you have to create the connections connection object you have to create as con after that you have to create a prepare statement object prepare statement statement object you have to create pst1 we need to prepare statement so you have to this one class you have to import the import for class sql connection this one you have to import uh, second one prepare we they are state statement is wrong right strong that's why it's statement statement right 
Now what I am going to do is here, uh, we apply the same thing, convert it, copy, and we paste here. Right. Now what I am going to do is here, uh, I am going to write a sales part, sales code here. So we have to write here, first I am going to write here is, uh, we have to write string, we have to get these two, three, three things subtotal payment and balance first i'm going to save the table as uh, sales table so we have write uh, subtotal sub dot equal you have write txt sub this is the name which i gave the total text box yeah. if you are not remember the name you can see right click change variable you can get the name like this right the same thing control c copy control bit paste below here second one should be uh, pay here also pay third one should be uh, bell balance from bell txt bell right perfect after that i'm going to create the last insert id so int last insert id equal zero so you have to write here is class dot for name so right here com dot mysql dot jdbc jdbc driver right you have to import the driver surrounded with the client Right, after that we have to go I'll write con equal driver manager dot get connection your right here is JDBC MySQL to slash your right your right low cost So right here, lock, lock, right here is uh, database name. For the database name we have created this one. Right. So we have to write here. Right. Uh, first I am going to write here. 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 Uh, first your database reside on the local host so that you have to give the database name properly right this is the thing you have to first do right after that what i am going to do is here i am going to write the string query so i am going to create the string variable query equal here we have to write insert into which table you are going to uh, store the record first this table sales table this table these are the columns are there id will be auto increment part so first one i'm going to write select the number sales table in what are the columns you have specify id not your uh, you don't need to specify here because id should be the auto increment so first i'm going to write subtotal comma second one should be the uh, pay how the balance right here values Three question mark. Right. Okay. This thing we have to do first. Three question mark we have to put. Right. How does he have right here, sir? This one. Right. Now what I am going to do is see after that we have to do the another stuff is you have to write uh, this one. Prepare statement. You have to get the prepare statement one. And uh, we have to write here is uh, we have to write PST one. The so PST one equal one dot prepare statement dot prepare statement so we have write first one is your write query this query variable your copy control sheet copy control bit paste here comma your write statement your write statement statement dot return generate keys 
first you write PST dot PST one PST first one PST first capacitor sorry PST one PST one PST one dot set string first one should be uh, this one sub uh, sub total control sheet copy and read paste here after the same thing control sheet copy and read paste here then click it second one should be pay control sheet copy and read paste here this is a second prepared statement this goes here third one should be uh, back so control sheet copy and read paste here right. this is how we have to add the other quotes so after that what I am going to write we have to write pst1 dot execute update Here is what. After that, what I am going to see, I am going to generate the auto generated key. So, you have write simply result set, result set, you have write result set here, generate key, generate key equal, you have write pst1 dot get generate keys. This is how we have to uh, get the last insert ID. So we have to write the uh, result set. Right. So result set we have write here. Uh, if this one, generate key, kind of seed copy, kind of to paste here. Dot next. We have to write here is simply last. We have to write this last insert ID. Kind of seed copy, kind of to paste here. E call into. We have to get the this one generate keys dot get it one now your inside id last once the record is added the last inside id should be created and assigned this way right okay perfect out of that what i'm going to do is here we have right here is second one should be the uh, we have right here is int row this one will sales product table we have stored the record second one so this is product table let's store that right so you have to uh, intro intros equal j table j table one dot get row count row count right here you have write string query one equal you have write here same query you have copy control seed copy cannot read paste here we have changed this one sales product Here we have write specify the columns of here. This one should be auto generated. We no need that. We have to starting from sales ID to uh, total. So sales ID, price type. So you have write sales ID. Here we have sales ID. Sales ID, second one price type. Price type, second one should rice type. Uh, third one should be price. Price comma quantity comma uh, price quantity comma after that we have right uh, price quantity comma total we have put the total also here yes. total total right so how many questions mark we have to put it here is one two three four five question mark, right five question mark here so what did we have here yeah, we need another two right okay sales product after that what I am going to see prepare statement the same thing you have to control C copy control V to paste sorry here I have to do the another stuff is you have to write the PST this one should be the PST2 so we have to create the PST2 prepare statement 2 we have to get the prepare because we add the records into two different tables so we have to we need to create the two prepare state different prepare statement so PST2 it belongs to uh, so here we have to pre uh, equal prepare statement here equal connection dot prepare statement dot prepare statement uh, query one here sorry this one right query one here query one you have to put it as query one right perfect now what I am going to do is here you have to write create this three string here string first one should be uh, first one what is the rise type control seed copy you have to create the variables right you got this one 
we have to this one we have to add it into the table so we have to write second one should be a string all things are string price equal blank price you have to make it as this one after that uh, this one uh, sorry your price you have to make it as blank like this so it's, it's not, uh, it's not a problem after that you have to write quantity so write string give d after that thought the int start equal zero right. okay now what i am going to do is here we have to write a for loop for int initial value i am going to zero now here we have to calculate the table length j table right j table so j table so j table one mean this table name j table 1 uh, dot get column count this get column count right. i plus plus i am going to count if you add the records if you select this tie uh, five days give the quantity select the quantity here so give the price this is all the things are you needed you have to select and click add button all the uh, items should be added here so here calculate in this form right what is the price should be so it's calculated to look like this right that's the thing i'm going to do here so here first i'm going to write the first thing is uh, we have to calculate this uh, rise type so we have to write rise type rise type you have to variable i declare above get it here rise type equal you have to write string string you have to write j table j table one dot get value at we have to write i first one should be i uh, what is the position uh, it's stop right so we have to store this one as a zero position and this zero position is stop zero position means j table starting from the position of zero zero position is zero position after that you have to get a second one should be control c to copy turn on read a paste below this one third one fourth one third one should be second one should be uh, this one price cannot see to copy cannot read paste here one uh, this one quantity is two this this is uh, we are not going to calculate any value so that we have to write as a string okay we are not going to calculate just throw the value only so it's no purpose to write as an integer quantity or such as you can write it as a string quantity is a question two uh, after that uh, two third position should be total so so total so total we so get this variable control c copy get here and this one should be the int data i have seen here also position should be right you have to calculate like this right total so sorry after that we have to set the values here uh, in the prepare statement so pst1 the uh, sorry pst2 this is a prepare statement dot set string uh, first one should be set in sent it set in first one you have to add the sales id this is last inside as, as a sales id first one should be okay. after that we have a second one should be we have to add, add, add here is second one should be uh, this one this one set string set string we have to second one we have to add as a rice type right third one should be control c to copy control v to paste here price fourth one should be i am going to add as uh, fourth one quantity fourth one should be quantity control c to copy control v to paste here after that control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be the thought control c to copy control v to paste here top right thought here we have to set as a int if it is a database uh, data type int we have to change it as a set int if it is string set as a set string right very simple in java right keep in remember of these simple sticks right when you make the program right so after that what i am going to see we have to write pst2 dot execute update you have to call it this one it is it is uh, insert into the database right after that you have to write another thing is that uh, you have to write pst1 dot add batch here add the batch after that you have to write j option pan after add the records both table we need to display the message 
so uh, so message so message dialog you have to write here is this you have to write record adder otherwise you have to uh, okay. record adder otherwise you have to record it transaction computer trans section computer or sales computer sales computer you have to write sales computer computer right perfect this is the thing we have to do okay now let's check whether it's working fine or not right. this function control c to copy this function we have to control c to copy we have to paste it here right so here we have to need, an, need another thing is right we need another thing is right okay perfect here we need another thing is right we have to get the uh, balance right this one should be balance we have to calculate the balance so we have to do this first int sub dot equal txt sub dot get text how to the inner sheet int uh, here we have to write a integer dot pass int we have to write here pass int we have to write here is int pay equal integer dot pass int we have to write here is uh, txt txt is not a uh, pay dot get text out of the pay of right int val equal pay dot sub dot answer you are getting uh, uh, getting and uh, display the answer into where balance text box so txt bal dot set text string dot value of your right back right that's the thing you have to do now let's check this one five dress quantity this one quantity the other quantity click add button it successfully added here we have to enter the payment click print invoice what's the problem this way uh, this one lang which which plan dot which yeah the error was displayed dot uh, the java lang integer cannot be cast java lang string so this is the line should be there error uh, you have to read the error first then only you will be able to solve the problem right click on this one here right here they they telling that uh, price should be in so you can't be change it as a string so we have to change this one as so because i have uh, in uh, data type i am going to give this price all the stuff in my database i am going to give as a int that's a problem so you have to write this one as int so let's write like this if you make it as in you have to simply at in you have to put it as zero that, that's the thing if you make it as in you have to change the here as table also you have to int this also int that's a simple thing you have to do right here also int set string also int right very simple stuff right if you get there right right after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to execute the program uh, here we have to run it we need this one price this is a quantity we do this one one quantity standard so i am going to enter the payment click print invoice sales completed right it's working perfectly now you will be able to check whether it's working fine or not here it's working fine right sales table there will be the total sheet this one should be a 3 this is your balance for this patient right it's working perfect right it's working perfect okay. okay guys it's working perfectly now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to do the uh, jasper report part right jasper report what i'm going to do is here uh, we have released a print receipt of here right so uh, go to my project this is my project so first what I am going to go to the Google 
if you have to type uh, jas uh, jasper report jar download right okay if you type like this you you will have get this this links you have to download this one i recommend this one J download jasper report jar 6 the dot uh, three points here this depend this click on this one and you will be able to download this chart. click on here right here click on this uh, download button and you will be able to download this chart. right jar files right that's the thing you have to do right okay. after downloaded uh, i already download this one we no need to download again you can get the file look like this This all the libraries you have to add it into your libraries. Then only you will be able to connect the Jasper repo, right? So here, go to the library folder, add jar folder. You have to get the Jasper report jars. So Jasper report. So this is jar files, right? You have to select one, or down the shift key down and select all, open it. Here, all the library should be added successfully, right? Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a report first, right? So select the package, file drive, right click, new, report wizard, next, next, new, we have to establish a database connection, database, uh, this one, JDB is connection, next, we have to write here, this, is, uh, this one should be file, right? right. Give the name, file. Here you have to give the database connection this one. MySQL this one the connection. The database name you have to write here is what's the database name you have to write this is the fried uh, shop. You have to copy this one. You have to paste it. Control V to paste Right. Here root is a username, password plan. Test. Text connection successfully. Save. Right. Now here we have to query. First, you have to get it. This table is sales product table. Right. Double click on this and get the sales product table first. Right? Don't get this one. Sales product tables only price type, price, the quantity, and total. Click OK. Next, select all here. Finish. Next, finish. You have to get the message. Congratulations. You have successfully created the new report. Finish. What's the problem? We have created new report. Finish. Unable to create the report. Why? Next. Right, we have created problem. Right. We have created again. Problem. Select the A4. Next. We have to design the for if here. This one. Sales. This sales product. Double click on this one. Click OK. Next. All next, next, finish. Right now, it's corrected successfully. Right. Now, it's created successfully. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is see uh, we have to make the size. So, I'm going to print as uh, uh, terminal printer. So, select this one above, right click, page format. You have to set the millimeter. So millimeter size, we have to create a width is 80, 230 size. Right. This is a terminal printer size. You have to print, right? Now we have to zoom it a little bit. Right. Now we need only this page adder we know needed. Only page column adder and details we should be needed. Right? So first what I am going to say, go to the report inspector. You have to drag those columns. Here, go to the field. First one should be you have to drag uh, this one sales uh, product type this one sales product type you have to need you have to sales product type need at first right. now here this one you have to set it here details right here. this one should be there you have set it the detail uh, detail right here you have set it here simply you have to, this one you have to reduce the size should be 8 you have to give it with board you have to leave it as a without board right so you have to write here simple you have to help of the arrow keys 
keyboard arrow keys and do the things right it's very simple after that we have to get a go to the report inspector drag second one is a price you know need this one price this also we have to decrease the size of 8 that is something like that after that we have to get it another thing is a uh, quantity we have to drag here we have to write 8 we have to place it here after that we have to drag another thing is a total we have to drag here some total select this one Eight. Okay. Perfect. now what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to right now what i'm going to do is here we have to make the heading so go to the go and static text we have to make it here this one should be there uh, this one type right right type that's the type here right rice type rice type rice type with bold I just have it right after that same thing control C to copy control V to paste here get it here this one should be uh, price second one should be the price after that same thing control sheet copy control read basically this one should be the quantity this is control sheet copy control read paste here you will get the report like this right you take the time and do it then only you will be get a good receipt got right because i have to complete the video soon that's why you have to do right so right this is uh, perfect right now let's this one we have to make this like this right here we need another thing is a simple we have to get the line and put it here this one we have to get the line simple we have to get the line okay this time we have to arrow key to set it like this right. here we have to change the property as go to the pin here this pin Paint it as this simple. You have to put it as 0 0.5. So I stick okay here. Simple is coming like this. Perfect. Right? Now what I'm going to do is we have to uh, title, we have to design a title. It's very must for that. Static text. Rice shop. B. like this one we have to make simple uh, little bit bigger 24 if you want to put 24 is okay it's no problem nice perfect it's perfect right now what i'm going to do is see after that we have to get another thing is a go here go to here for an answer we have to get it the this one this one. Go to the core and set. We have to set it as a uh, this one, uh, another table. So go to the core designer. This table, sales table. Double click and open it. Here, subtotal pay balance. You have to get that. That one also. Here we have to join the table. So how to join is? We have to go here. We have to simply uh, remove the one comma here. We have to write here. In security purpose, if you change anything else, it's asked for the password, right? You just uh, press enter, it's go, right? Now here we have to write first inner join, right? 
your right cap lock on and your right so we have to write cap lock on and right okay, inner joint inner your right space joint right inner joint after that you have to how to join two tables here one you have to write on keyword right how to join two tables you have to write this one sales product table sales id sales product table sales id control c copy control v paste here equal right here sales table id sales tables id right sales table id so get it control c to copy right sales product table sales id here sales table sales id sales id right. this is how we have to merge two tables right after that we have to write another things where where right here the same as sales id control c copy control v to paste here first the uh, sales id coming when the receipt key is this is the last insert id right okay now here we have to create the parameter in simple right in b inverse number right we we'll get the parameter and put it here right this one we have to call into the code right now we have to check whether it's working fine or not here it's working fine yeah sales id id right it's working fine now what i'm going to do is click okay click okay perfect right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to the report inspector uh we have to here all the columns are coming here we have to go to the, this one select the project we have to group it at the group now right here sir. sale sales you have to get the product sales i get it here at the footer we need that okay here it's coming here we have to design here as the simple stuff this one uh this one subtotal let me get the subtotal eight this is here keyboard arrow key to uh, up arrow down arrow left and right you would set it like this okay simple right out of the second one should be the pay right your arrange look like this out of the third one should be the balance Select and this one should be right. Perfect. Now we have to get the heading here. Also, this one should be the total, subtotal, subtotal. Like this one here, we have to see reduce the size of that. Right here, we have to change the asset 8. Get it here. The same thing, control C, copy, control V to paste here. This one should be the pay amount. After the control C, copy, control V to paste here. This one should be the balance. Okay, perfect. Right after that. For the design factor, we have to drag the sales ID. Invoice this one should be there. Invoice ID. You have to get it here. This one sorry, you have to press in it. This one should be there. Add space. Right. Big port. We have to static text. We have to make as an invoice number. Invoice number. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Now let's check. Now if you want to put any text here, thank you, come again, all or something. You have to drag here, you have to write here. Thank you, come again. Thank you. Come again. Come again. Text you have to write here. 
Right, perfect. This is the right stop. Right. Now here, if you show the bill, you ask the invoice number. So you have to give the this 40 ID, sales ID 40. This is it should be there. Perfectly this this page, right? Five days, right? Perfectly designed, right? Now here what I'm going to do is if you want to the design of the design here in between pay and balance we need a uh, one simple stuff it's very thin nice things we need one line we have to change this one type as pen this one If you go to the preview, Very nice, right? Okay. Now let's connect this uh, receipt into the our POS, right? So here, not here. This one is not a, my earlier one. This one. Right. When you uh, uh, click print invoice, all the things uh, should, should be calculated and print receipt should be released. Okay. So what I'm going to do is here, go to the code. Sales code. Here, right. This is sales update, right? Sales completed. After get this message, we have released the uh, print in uh, invoice, right? We have to write ash map. Ash map. We have to write ash map. We have to write object uh, A equal new ash map. Look right here. After that, you have to import the package. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is you have to write a dot put. You have to write here. What is the invoice you have to give? Here? This one. Uh, this one. What is the thing you have to give? The design. Like this. E I N B O. Right. You have to write here. I N B O. Comma last inside ID. What's the last one inside ID coming here? This is the last inside ID. Control C copy. Control D paste. That's it. That's the thing you have to do. After the time I'm going to write right? Jasper Jasper Design J Design equals J R X M L Loader dot load you have to put the path select this one properties select this one and proceed copy we have to paste it here complete paste perfect perfect now here we have to right you have to just select this one you have to add the package this one We have to add that another thing is try and catch up. We can try and catch up the upright. Okay. Perfect. After that, what I'm going to do is see the upright here is the second one should be there. Uh we have to write uh Jasper report Jasper report J report equal Jasper report compiler Jasper compile manager manager dot the problem Jasper report compile and the report is from here is a problem 
Jasper report equal so that is Jasper compile com compile compile manager manager dot right okay now it's working right you have to write the case sensitive you have to write a case sensitive then only it work but right. fill compile report uh, you have to fill report but right. fill if why what the problem is not working like come you have to write compile report not a fill report compile this one right here we have right here is uh, this one here is and you have to call it control seat copy control video after that what I am going to do is here you have to write uh, third shot be jasper jasper print j print equal jasper field manager jasper field manager jas jasper field manager dot field report right here we have to write here is J report you have to write here second one should be there this A object control seed copy control it with here this one connection connection should be this connection this connection database connection right you have to write here okay. you have to add the uh, Jasper print namespace after that what I am going to do is here uh, we have to show the Jasper review so you have to Jasper viewer dot view report so we have right j print this print you have show this we don't need this one we have to show this one okay that's the thing we have to right now after that what i'm going to see i have to add another line this one i have comment it so uh, jasper print manager dot print report this one you have to write as a j print control c copy control v to paste here here we have to write false when you have print this one automatically printed you have to enable this option right now i just comment it here first i will show the jasper report uh, viewer first right how to view the report right so here i am going to do the another stuff here right this one i am going to write i need price is this i need two this one i need uh, 200 need one this one i need one that button is added successfully here I calculate successfully now I am going to payment thousand click print invoice bank should be displayed here is completed now here you have to check just for the alright we need one error message you have to get it here here this error this is not error this GROB right. control seat copy this one go back to here here you have to go to the XML file here control F2 find this one we are from here this language is not supported we have to select this one backspace to remove that and you have to go to the project and you have to build it clean and build right because that language is not supported okay right now here we have to run again you have to write again second one third one add button pay thousand Print invoice, she has completed. Here, your success print receipt will be displayed here. here. So, all the things will be successfully displayed here. here. It's all here. This, this table, right? Here, slide, quantity, this one, one, your subtotal, pay amount, balance. It's nice print receipt will be you will be getting here. Now, what I'm going to do is here, when you print the bill on supermarket or something somewhere else. You have to hide this viewer. So if you show the viewer, it's, the system should be slow, slow. You have to make look like this. If you enable this one, it's print automatically. Right? When the customer here, if you give the quantity 
and this one here video look we should give some enter some prices right you click advanced add that you pay the amount and you have to print invoice it's automatically printed here now it's automatically printed now you can check here it's automatically go for the print here it's automatically go for the print print is i haven't connect the print printer yet here it's automatically convert here go to the printer it's printed if the printer is connected terminal printer it printed right perfect i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching